The reason that we do them first from back edges instead of the break line. The previous step is going in this rotation. This step, well, it's not just that, but you have no momentum in this direction because the previous step was in the opposite. So here we're getting rid of all the momentum, and on the first step, we're asking for the ganja. So I have in the other direction, I have to keep in mind that no, she's going, right? No, no, because we could do the other direction also from an ocho. So I would practice the same thing. I'm changing direction, so there's no momentum at the moment that we take this step, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's what we want to get comfort first. Now, if I do it from a grapevine, if the lady's going in a fast grapevine, and I all of a sudden decide to ask for a ganjo, mm -hmm. then we're going to both be sitting on the floor, yeah. right? Because as her body keeps traveling, and now she's got no way to land her leg, and normally what would happen is I would take a step to try to balance her, but my leg is all caught up inside her. I've got nowhere, literally I don't have a leg to stand on. And um, it, we do have accidents happen. But so you do. Got to absolutely. But that's why we don't teach it there first. So we teach it on the ocho first where it's coming in the first step of that direction and there's no continual momentum. And then what the men have to learn to do, and the ladies as well, is to be able to go from the grapevine, feel the slowing down that happens just before the gotcha. And if, for me, as a leader, if I don't feel you're slowing down, even though I wanted the gancho, I would change my mind in a hurry. I'm not going to stick my leg in there and <laughs> oh, risk it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, try once more. It's like sticking something in the spokes of a. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Well, let me try. 